Arcane Guys and a Maggot Carrier. I agree with that. Ooh, oh. Mirror Match! Oh. All, All right. right. We'll get to see the Hall of Famer play Honorog's favorite deck. Yes. I'm Paris. so excited. Oh, is it a Mirror Match? It is. It, it is. is, yeah. All um, right. This is the sort of magic that I live for. I know I have a lot of friends watching that will be very interested in uh, seeing how this goes. Um, so, off the bat, this is probably one of the strongest plays, Island into, you know, Sensei's Dividing Top. So that's a dead giveaway that it's okay to use whatever mana you want, maybe outside of Back to Basics. So playing the Tundra here for the top is perfectly fine. Uh, I will note that it looks like uh, Mahara has a copy of... Whoa! Whoa! So this is... Whoa! Okay, this is a play I'm not a huge fan of. I, I agree use. with you here. Um, <laughs> we can get into this. Um, so, actually... Jarvis, why, why do you not like this play? Okay, so in my experience, A, Miracles matchups go on forever, so it's a grind fest. Mm -hmm. B, by forcing the first top, that means you're trying to commit to countering all of the tops. Yes. Because the second top is almost as good as the first top. Absolutely. Um, and there's an inherent contradiction, because if the game is going to go long, and you're committing yourself to you know countering yeah. all the tops, he's going to find all the other tops eventually, and having you stop those is... You know, not really where you want to be. Another thing is, is that these matchups, well, this matchup, sorry, typically boils down to one card in particular, and that card is counterbalance. Counterbalance. Yeah, yeah. counterbalance. That is definitely just like one of so, the strongest. So that's why Spell Snare is one of the best cards yeah, in your deck. By as pitching well, one, yeah. by pitching Spell Snare to force to counter a top, that's just really, really. Mm -hmm. That's a really interesting decision to me. Right now, it could be the case that um, you know Spell Snare was the only blue card in his hand, but. I mean, the but even upside... then, it seems like you just let it resolve, right? And then just hold the spells in there for the counterbalance. Right. So here's the thing. Uh, one, one thing about, you know, game one, one reason why forcing the top seems... Uh, a little bit better. Alluring, yeah, exactly. It's just that, is that there there's are so, so many... dead cards. Exactly. Yeah. There's so many bad cards. Like, off the ponder, we see that Ryujo uh, drew um, uh, a Terminus, which does almost next to nothing. You know, by the time the Terminus is actually meaningful... The game is probably over due to other cards like a, a, a counterbalance that has resolved or a Jace that has just gone wild. Looks like um, one of the players might have a copy of uh, Monastery Mentor. It, I believe it would, Takata does. Okay. We also saw it off the Ponder. I don't know if he actually took it or not. I think he shuffled the Ponder. But... Given I that think he's gonna behind. Go here, it looks like. Yeah, I, and I like this play. If you don't have anything, like bluffing that you have a counter spell is, it's you could it's a line, it's a play, but I think it's weak. Um, when you know the the more technically correct play is just to. Okay, Ooh. so you're gonna snap cast okay. ponder, which right. I like a lot more. Yeah, for sure. Snap ponder is a underrated play, I think. Mm -hmm. Unless if you play four ponder miracles, in which case it's one of the most common plays. Sure, yeah. Especially when you don't have a top out, this is a much more potent play. Right. Um, I think snap ponder, especially game one in the mirror match, is like pretty good actually. Oh, did you find another top? You found a force. Okay. Uh, okay. So, so that protects them against counterbalance. Right. The thing about miracles is one of the reasons why it's the most powerful deck is that it just has some of the best answers to all of legacy. But like like swords to plowshares and counterbalance and terminus. Looks like yeah, Mahara might be going for Jace here. Okay. Otherwise, I'm not sure why he would plow. Just gonna spin. Um, but the issue with all these diverse like powerful cards that Miracles plays is that they're extremely polarized. Swords to plowshares is not that great in this matchup, whereas it would be great against Delver. As is counterbalance, not so great in like you know the Merfolk matchup, uh, whereas it is in this matchup or like Storm oh. in Storm. This is this is actually a problem that a lot of decks in Legacy have, mm -hmm. but having Boo in your deck means you get to play Brainstorm and cards like Jace mm -hmm. to alleviate the problem. Right. Um, basically, that's the actual classic Jun problem, where if you draw the wrong half of your deck, you lose. Mm -hmm. And it's why I don't think Jun is that great of a deck in Legacy because it has no way to filter its draws. Right. I mean, the alternative is that you could have you could just draw your whole deck somehow, like with Sylvan Libraries and stuff yeah. like that. But I mean, I don't think the John Colors are well equipped to do that. Um, so he, this is a main phase. We're, we're we're digging for something counterbalance. Yeah, and I and I actually like this because if he finds a counterbalance right now, it's gonna be very very hard for um, Ryuto to come back and win. Sort of a force of will, which I think. Right. Oh, and he found it. Okay, so. 
He's just going to force the issue and force Takao to blow two cards. Yeah. Whereas if he untapped, he could have, you know, a spell snare or counter spell. Right? Yeah. And I think you 100% force will this because if you don't, not only does it turn off your Sensei's Divining Top, but it also turns off all your other one drops um, just by nature of the combo, which is, you know, with the counter bellow trigger on, stance, uh, on the stack, you tap your Sensei's Divining Top to put it on top of your deck. Whoa! Whoa. He would have resolved. Okay, so, so he has he, Jace. No. He would have resolved because he knows Mahara's top card is Sensei's Divining Top. Explain. So we know our opponent's oh, top okay. card is a one drop, so right. it's play, safe to play our four drop. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Now and that's then, that's actually very good. Yeah. So this is going to be a weird game. But did he have another blue card? Because I feel like you just force the counterbalance and then play Jace anyway. If he didn't have another blue card, this makes sense. Yeah. Okay. So it's not. Right. Yeah. Um, and so I, I have commentary on this too. Um, Who's favorite here? Yeah. Yeah, that's a very brilliant question. Who, who, like in this situation, one player has countertop, the other has Jace the Mind Sculptor. I think game one, because there are so many dead cards, that the player with Jace the Mind Sculptor on the table actually has a very, very good chance of, of sneaking a win. Mm -hmm. uh, theoretically, countertop is really good at stopping all the spells, but because you have things like Terminus and like you know the things that don't matter, um, it's not necessarily that it's easier. Ooh, wow, okay, this is this is pretty okay, solid. So this is his attempted answer at Jace. Right. Uh, and it looks like... So this might get forced. Mm -hmm. And I like this force will here. If you don't have Terminus, and, or you cannot rely on Terminus, you might as well throw everything you have to, you know, keep your... Jace alive. Right. And sorry, so the reason Jace is also good is that it just gives you that huge volume of cards, Ooh, which allows Terminus. you to find... Oh, wow. That's too bad. <laughs> yeah, that's unfortunate. Um, but still puts him in a good position to answer any future threats. For sure. Wait, did he know about that Terminus on top from Brainstorming last turn? He fetched and then he Terminus, right? You mean Jace? Oh, he yeah, fetched he fetched and then Jace. So yeah. he actually didn't know about the Terminus. Mm. He did Brainstorm. Yeah. Like, so then what? I'm trying to figure out. I mean, if it's it was actually a monk, correct. but then you can just. Oh, no, it doesn't, it doesn't matter because he just. Right. Okay, so he maybe. That's actually he interesting. Then. Yeah, he probably. He either forgot or he just wanted to. Well, I doubt he um, forgot. I'm assuming that these both both well, of these players six were six, six was going to resolve. Yeah. I mean, the the upside is counterbalance is already in play. The only other card that could come into play are that would that would matter are um, what's it called? Chase the Mind Sculptor from you know. Uh, Council's judgment. Side. Council's Judgment, also a card that's sometimes played. Okay, yeah, Judgment would also make an impact. Um, and or or if, if Mahara has a really old build, Pyroblast. Mm, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm saying. Is that a spell Ooh, snare? Yeah. Very nice. These guys have most of the new technology and miracles, it right. looks like. And that's a predict. predict! It's a predict! <laughs> <laughs> it's predictable that Onarg would go ooh at that. <laughs> Agreed. Good card, good card. Um, so I think you just jammed the Mentor here, right? Uh... Rock is... So like in this situation, like, Ryoto has like all the cards, and, and Mihara doesn't. So I actually feel like Ryoto might be ahead. If he finds like, you know, his Council's Judgment or a copy of... Um, Engineered explosives, he can remove the counterbalance, and then the game's almost over because the Jace has just drawn so many cards. Um, Who is brainstorming a response to predict? Okay, so his that, hands maybe a two drop. Right. That or he's digging deeper to find a two drop. Looks like a Snapcaster was either drawn or in hand. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now this is pretty dangerous. The fact that Mihara has both Snapcaster Mage and Ponder on top of his deck means that. Well, I mean, one drops are already off limits thanks to two divining tops in play, but now that Snapcaster Mage is never going to leave the top three of the deck. It's yep. just, yeah, so all of um, Ryoto's two drops are also turned off. So I really think that now that Ryoto's... Ryoto's might be good for the Mentor now. I, yeah, I think yeah. you have to commit to the Mentor, and sooner is better than later. Yeah, de sooner is def definitely better than later because otherwise you give him infinite time to find a Terminus or something. Or... Find a Terminus or a Council of like another three drop. Or, uh, you know, some way to close the game, like with the Jason Mind Sculptor, or... Yeah, basically, it just gets worse. <laughs> so it looks like Mara found a four support. In addition to a... 
Now, here's an interesting thing. Um, I'm kind of curious why we played Ponder before playing Mentor. He was checking the top three. Right. But, but even then, it's... Yep. Yeah. But, I, I, I wouldn't mind this play if he had two more one-mana spells to yeah. throw into the counter top. Right, or, exactly. Well, not two exactly. mana. Because you want to make some guys, too. Right. right. Even, like, two tokens right now would be fairly potent. Yes. Um, and sorry, not two more one mana spells, but like a two mana spell, like a snapcaster. So you could go like ponder, he spins, rearranges, then you go snapcaster, make him spin and rearrange again, and then he has to rearrange again to stop the ponder, and then, you know, by that point, he's tapped out and you know the top card so you can successfully play the mentor. Yeah. Um, because you can see that the bottleneck on, on Mihara's side is clearly mana, at least it was on that turn. Um, Looks like Mihara is going to try to find a Terminus under Shuffle. Okay. Or, I don't know, he drew Snapcaster. Snapcaster Plow is pretty good. Yep. That is a card you really don't want to summon with space. <laughs> yeah, yeah, for sure. Uh, one thing that Mihara did that I really like is he left the Force of Will on top of his deck. Yep. Because at the moment, Force of Will and um, Counterspell, probably, uh, Spell Snare is off, um, but Force of Will and Counterspell are probably the two ways that, you know, Ryoto can interact with this um, Snapcaster Mage on the stack. Keeping the Force of Will on top means that it's no longer an avenue. This does tie up a ton of Mahara's mana because he has to flip one. Right. But I still think you do it because... Yeah. You want the monks. Yep. Yep. I guess there are no delve cards in the deck, so... That's true. Well, Probably no death rights either. I don't know, who knows? The, do you think Mahara is the kind of guy that would splash black for Exhume? I'm just trying to think of reasons why a mentor, how Mentor could get back into play. Oh, and that's gone. Okay, nice. Right. So one thing that's interesting is now that... See, Mihara only has one mana open now. Yep. So so there's a chance you can sneak some cards through. Yeah, exactly. It's like if a counterbalance like, resolves right now, that'd be so Or great. an Engineer Explosives to blow up counterbalance and Snapcaster. Snapcaster. Yep. I wonder yeah. what number I would pick for the Engineer Explosives here. Um, given what I've seen in this deck, because I saw Monastery Mentor, I'm more inclined to believe that it's... I haven't seen Caracas. I haven't seen anything indicative of it being like the Legends version. Yeah. So I would pick, pick three or four three as, or the, four. as the yeah. weak spots. I wouldn't pick five. Well, I could. I would pick five too, but I think um, three and four have equal probability as five. And yeah. because you have, I mean, five is just more mana, so I wouldn't do it right. then. Yeah. But it's good that so there's another monastery mentor that has resolved, and potentially if we don't see a terminus, this one could steal the game. Yeah. So Mahara's plan forever, I think, has been to find Terminus mm -hmm. and protect it with the force that's underneath. Right. Uh, the only issue with this is he hasn't found a Terminus. <laughs> right. He also doesn't have much time. Well, yeah. we'll see. He has. Tukata, Tukata I, I don't off. think he actually has that much time. Yeah, Takata's hand is just full. Yeah, I would give I would give him two more draw steps. I think. Um, I think Takata's just drawing, you know, four cards a turn and putting two back. So. Right. Um, but like, if you think about it, like, so the only reason that you know you're just still in this game is because of of, of the Jace the Mind Sculptor, right? Days. Ooh. You saw Days. Yeah. Wow. Right. You know who's a fan of this? <laughs> uh, Minhaj. Yeah. Well, it's a Days. We have to be very careful not to reveal that game. Okay. That's uh, interesting. Yeah. That that tells a lot about the deck. Mm -hmm. It probably means he has. At least three mentors, if not four, once you see days. Now this is interesting. Uh, Ryuto is fate sealing Mihara, which seems interesting given that Mihara has Sensei's Divining Tops in play. I would so rather, rather scry. I'd rather scry. Yeah. yeah. I think Mihara is contemplating yeah. shuffling now. Well, Mihara knows his top card, right? Yeah. Days. Not actually very good here, but that's a thing that could mess people up, especially for sure, for sure. especially in game two where he doesn't know about the days. Yep. So if he just like slams some expensive bomb and gets dazed right out, it's just a blowout. Yep. I think um, 
Oh, ooh, Mahara has predicts too. Very nice. I think I saw two of them. Huh. It's interesting that Takata is playing predict and daze because they do completely different things, right? Mm -hmm. Like one of them, well, you're you're trying to be aggressive early, and the other one, you're trying to play a longer game. Yes and no. And like the thing is, if you're able to resolve predict early, that 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 one or two card boost is usually enough to just like, oh, seal the game. There's a terminus. Yep, there is a terminus. Okay. The question is, is it too late? I don't yeah. think it's too late because there's only one thing. We still need to do something Does about Takata this even chase. Have force? If so, Takata has a couple options here. I think he could have force of will. The Karakas in play means he could also have a Vendillion click. In response to the Ooh, I, I, did, trigger. did he just draw force of will for the turn? He did. Yeah. That's good. That's big game. The classic. Do I have permission to cast the spell? What did he reveal? I don't think I saw a reveal. Okay, yeah. I I think he's just assuming it's gonna die. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and he's just beating up. Wow, this is this is uh, incredible. I mean, I mean, Har is deciding if he wants to trigger terminus now. Right. Mm -hmm. Which. Like the answers. So top is still on the stack, but the the mentors triggers have both resolved. Yep. All right. So now we see a terminus. And he's gonna force, I think. So the trigger is okay. That's what they're saying yes to. Yep, there you go. Okay. Another token. And he's gonna hard cast forcible here. Yep. Okay, so it looks like get a token. Now let's see. Can you find... Ooh, Ooh, he found it in the force! That's, that's, that's very, game. very, wow. very good. Now he needs to spin again. And... To counter the top if he wants to. I think he is supposed to by this point. Incredible. All right. I love Legacy. <laughs> A lot so of the thing is that the mentor is still in his deck, so he, he can keep trying to find it again. Right. Um, um, but yeah, this game's gonna go on for a while, it looks like. Or or I suppose he could be is trying he to. Fate seal himself he, I guess he's I guess he's trying to go for the Jace Fate Seal win now. Yeah. Okay. Mahara is responding with the spin, so I imagine that Yuto's targeting. Yeah. That's my assumption, but. So we would rather lose. Oh, it looks like he's force? offering the force. I would put that on the bottom for sure. Would What's you it? rather offer the plat? What was it? Mentor. It was mentor top. Top. He wants the second top for his mentor, I guess. Yeah. That's the Ooh, one. that is a good line actually. But I really, I don't think the second top matters, and I would have rather just shipped that away. I think the forcible is way more powerful in this situation. Yeah, but you get the uh, top combo right now. Yep. Yeah, but... I think he's just going for it because he thinks this is his best way to beat Jace as well. Okay, that, that is one thing. Um, I think Mentor and one top is sufficient in this position to win on Mihara's side. Well, we have some Yuya Watanabe tokens. <laughs> and then... Is that Channel Fireball? Okay. He's stopping at yeah. two so then he can use the top right. half once yep. more if necessary. And also accidentally playing around D's. Ooh. Ooh. We're gonna see a blowout here, right? I hope so. No, I don't think we are. Oh, I really want to see a, a day's blowout here. So he has a sort of hashers, but he needs to wait for. Mihara There's to draw no the top. really good time to do it, right? Nice! We found a terminus! We still have a game! This is great! Right, and we have a forcible 2 to protect it. You know what would be insane, though? We don't yeah. have a way to trigger it now, though. Yeah. Trigger what? But we have no, a plow. No, no. We can hard cast it. The terminus? Yeah. Oh, it looks yeah. like he, but he uh, put it on top. Yeah, he put it on top. Yeah. So his plan is to snap Brainstorm, right? Or cast Brainstorm? I don't like the So you need, again, you need to wait for him to draw the top so that there's no longer a one on top. Mm -hmm. But actually, you don't know because you might just float it. Um, yeah. And the issue here is you really can't lose the Jace. If you lose the Jace, the game is over. He might force of will the sensei's divining top. Change. 
He knows the top is on top. So he's targeting predict. He's going to predict away the top. Ooh. And there's... What? But the top's still on top. What's happening? All right, we're, we're about to find out. Um... He's playing plow in response to targeting predict with the snapcaster trigger. Okay. Just to, to make sure predict... that predict resolves. But we knew the top was on top. Yeah. Right? Yeah, that's sort of... Yeah, you, you, that's you, okay. No, you probably just forgot. It's okay. I mean, I mean, it's okay to forget. Yeah. yeah. This has already been a really exhausting game. For it's sure. been like, yeah. Yeah. No. I, I. For me, I am in love. But yeah, I mean, it's great to see how how these players yeah. are, you know, approaching the matchup. Uh... Yeah. There's been a surprising amount of back and forth. I mean, both players have had quote-unquote, the trump cards for the matchup, game one, and it's and interesting to see which trump card is better. Here's something that I'd actually like to point out. I don't like that Miharas won his top at the end. I think he, there's... there's Just hold so, open the mana? You hold yeah. open the mana and untap and then do it safely. Uh, I think there's just such low risk here that... So... Okay, so it looks like Mihara's going to go ahead and counter the Brainstorm. Oh, no? Yep. He just wanted to see if the guy was going to do something in response. Before resolving his ability. Yeah. This is going to be kind of dicey now. So yeah. Mahara was going to draw with the top regardless, I think, just to get yeah, prowess to get, triggers. Mm -hmm. So, he's gonna so force, I don't understand. Ooh, he reveals the daze. Um, All right, that daze reveal is pretty big. Yeah. Mahara will remember that for a second game if we get there. Absolutely. Oh, yeah. And I don't think you board out daze. Um, no, in this I don't think so. Really? Actually, yes, because... The critical okay, so that like the critical turn two is when you're like jamming counterbalance and have the days are just so good there. Yeah, yeah well, we'll talk about it in between while he's sideboard. Um, yeah. well, but first let's focus on this. I actually, I really wish that Ryuto had just hard cast the terminus in this situation. Yep. Um, he would have saved so many more cards. I agree. Ooh, Mahara's own Jace. Wow. This is that a big deal. Game. That's yes. Yeah, it also makes a monk. Yep. And it seems like we have two spells cast. So it looks turn. like a terminus is coming up for Takata, but I think like what are Takata's ways of winning now? Just uh, terminus having that resolve, and then Jace racing, Fate mm -hmm. Seal. Yeah, perhaps. yeah. Um, but I Jace think the monks, monks are big enough that they can just attack Jace like this and force an unprofitable block. I believe we cast. So Jace two. is going to go we down. We cast to, two spells, right? Yeah. Jace is going to go down significantly, so that the Jace race. Not gonna work anymore, probably. And I think if um, Mihara has a terminus, you just concede on the spot here. Wait, where did the he predicted and drew it? Okay, so yeah. the terminus is in his. Now he gets to play it, but if it's too late or not. I believe Mihara's only cast one terminus now. I. Yeah, that sounds right. Oh, wow, so okay. it just resolves. No spin or... Oh, no, there's no top of play. No, the top yeah, of Because it got forced. Wow, okay, actually... Oh, so he might, he might get the other top away. Very Ooh. nice. Ooh. Very nice. Oh, he's uh, brainstorming a response. Dang. Okay. So we, this is like, so like back and forth yeah. and back and forth. Yeah, this, is, this is amazing. And he's going to land a top as well. Did okay. he find it too? Yeah, he found Ooh. You know That's what? Good. Actually, Scooter222 says something very interesting. If you yeah. are in uh, Mihara's position, is there an argument for attacking and then bouncing your mentor rather than drawing a card? That's an interesting Something to think point. about. Something yeah. very, very good to think about. Yeah. Because you know the Terminus yeah. is going to come. Otherwise, you're going to win anyways, right? This is like sometimes where it's actually correct to bounce Snapcaster instead of brainstorming with Jace mm -hmm. because you just need to find a source of plow shares. Yeah. Turns out you already have one, it's <laughs> on the board. <laughs> this this has been quite the game though. I, I agree. You know, often... I love how fast they're playing. I, we keep saying oh, this, but it's just like the pace yeah. of play in Japan yeah, is much yeah. better than in the US. Often um often yeah. I feel uh, like the Miracles mirror match is something that is not very enjoyable to watch for some people. Uh, I, I find this with these high level players, it's just great to watch because there's a lot of back and forth and a lot of decisions and like figuring out how to trump whatever is, you know, the other player might be able to do. Like, especially like playing around counterbalance and top, like that little struggle, especially like the, the countertop versus Jace battle was, was quite entertaining actually. Um, yeah, I think this is probably going to end it though. Right. I, I think that, uh, yeah, with Force of Will. Ponder, like just, there's so many options here now that 
I would be oh, very yeah. surprised. Yeah. Uh, he does need to find. Well, he doesn't need another top, I guess. He already has Jace. Yeah. Um, well, he does need to find a way to finish like the game, quote the unquote. Jace. Yeah, exactly. Because yeah. if this Jace just fate seals forever, uh, it's not. A, it's not going to be a good thing. And I don't know actually if uh, Mihara has Council oh, Judgment in his he, deck. This guy has switched back to brainstorming though. That's kind of a weird, peculiar hedge that, like, y you need to stick to one plan, I think, by this point, right? Yeah, because, you know, the worst thing in the world would be if Ryoto dies with Jace at 11. Mm -hmm. yeah. This could have been the turn that it goes from 11 to 13, or, or like, yeah. if it just dies at 13 counters right before going to... Mahara just wants to find one threat and end the game. Right. He has a Force plus blue card in his hand. Do we know what happens to... He did shuffle. Okay, now, Ryoto's uh, graveyard is there, it's hard to find, ponder. hard to see. Even a Snapcaster, I think, is good enough by this point. Absolutely, yeah. I would force a the Snapcaster, too. <laughs> yeah, um, I mean, force play. That or Divining Top. Divining Top, I usually don't force because I don't think it's uh, one of the quote-unquote critical cards in the matchup. I mean, obviously, the player that has it is you know far ahead but i think saving your force of will for a counterbalance is just much much more important and jace the mind sculptor um yeah there were a lot of interesting decisions this game on both sides but i think that snapcaster is going to slowly end it right and now with the top yeah the force of will is um yeah so we saw yeah there's a force of will on top Mihara's Ooh, mahara it. figured it out yeah <laughs> Not surprising from the Dragonstorm ma master himself. So, there's actually a very good story about Mahara where he miscounted his mana uh -huh. while playing Dragonstorm. Yeah. And instead of panicking, he was like, oh shit, I fucked up. He just calmly cast Bogart and Hellkite from his hand instead. Because <laughs> he only had eight mana instead of nine. Nice. A lot of people would become really flustered in that situation and lose the game, I think. Right. This is one thing I'm not really happy about with top and play, fate sealing your opponent. The it's power not, is, is a yeah, lot less. Not very yeah. good. I, I can understand maybe it forces your opponent to do something, but you'd have to combine it with um, you know, action on your side. Okay, and uh, yep. Snapcaster Mage is going to be game. Oh, sorry, I misspoke. Yes. He recounted and repealed. He cast repeal and then drew the ritual that he needed. Even better. Okay, well, so let's let's get into sideboarding now. Um, so I want to talk specifically about Daze and why I think Daze is a good card in, in this specific matchup, despite the intuitive logic that, you know, these matches are going to go very, very long, therefore Daze would be bad. Um, I actually think that, well, Daze becomes bad when your opponent has the mana to pay for it, um, but a lot of games, a lot of matches of Miracles are often more decided in the earlier phase when your opponent has maybe four or five mana at most. And given cards like um, Snapcaster Mage and Vendillion Click, which actually do take up a sufficient amount of mana to cast, um, and are used in these counter wars and stuff like that, I think Daze does retain um, some value because then, you know, it's, like the sequencing will often be that it's like um, on turn three or four or whatever, um, you go counterbalance your opponent's like Pyroblast, you're like, okay, whatever, Snapcaster Pyroblast, you stop the, sorry, mm -hmm. you stop the Pyroblast. And then they, you know, flash in a Snapcaster Mage and try it again. And that's when you're like, bam, days at the very end. Obviously, you can complicate this by adding in, you know, copies of Flusterstorm and Spell Snare and actual Counterspell. Um, but the point is that a lot of mana is going to be spent on these Counterspells. So there are actually scenarios where your opponent is tapping out and then days becomes amazing. Um, also, on the play, days is a very proactive spell in that it helps you resolve Counterbalance early. I think that's pretty good there. So I looked at Mahara's sideboarding. Mm -hmm. Looked like he was bringing two or three clicks, okay. some of bus, and engineering explosives. And it sort of looked like he was bringing in a land too, but I'm not 100% sure on that. Fascinating. If he does have the 21st land in his sideboard, if it's a mountain, yeah. I can see that there might be some recalibration of the mana base. I think mountain is better than planes post board. Yeah. Um, it also could be that he just wants to make more land drops mm -hmm. and 
you know, typically in like the control mirror, you know, you just want to go land, go, you know, all the way to infinity. I think in the Miracles matchup specifically, I personally prefer not to go above six lands. Um, six because because all the spells in Legacy are so efficient. Yeah. Six lands is almost infinite lands, right? Like, and that's a weird thing to say, but I, I think your point is that it's not like a control mirror where you have to pay three mana for a counter spell, like the Esper on Esper, Blue White on Blue White, Sphinx's Revelation mirrors. Right. There are a lot of three mana counter spells, so right. that's a huge difference from Miracles on Miracles where. You know your counter spell could be free, mm -hmm. or you could tap two mana for a counter spell, or even one mana. Right. It's a power blast or spell snare, yeah. or something like that. Yeah. Um, I think the miracles mirror match is more about um, okay overloading your opponent's mana by abusing their end step. So I think flash threats like Mendelian click that you know you play on their end step, then they'll tap one or two mana to stop it. Then you untap and you have the mana advantage. You have like five to their three allows you to safely commit counterbalance onto the board. The issue with counterbalance is that because um, you know you should expect to be fighting at parity, and initiating a fight means that you are both down on mana and you are down a card in the, in the you know subsequent fight. So flash threats allow you to sort of make up for that. Now, getting into the match, it's great. Ryuto has opted to draw, which is a very fascinating um, decision. He's the one with days too. Right, yeah. Well, were there a bunch of Europeans who chose to draw as well? Yeah, Philip Schoeninger, you know, Miracle's master, wrote an article where he suggested boarding down to 19 lands and then being on the draw um, because the statistical average is such that you don't necessarily get blown out on turn two and three just by the way he had designed his deck. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, the extra card goes a long way. Yeah still again back to that it's still kind of a weird decision because especially if you have days in your deck mm -hmm. it's possible that he took the days out if this was his plan right um but days obviously leverages being on the play a little bit more here's a question when do you choose player draw is it after the match or after sideboarding after so after you present your deck yeah okay so after sideboarding correct for what's worth, if you announce something during sideboarding, you, have to stick to it. you are held to it. Okay. So you should really wait until you finish sideboarding. Okay. Before you announce it. Right. Because your opponent could theoretically change what strategy they're on, uh -huh. given this extra information. Um, one thing I will point out is that because the days was revealed in game one, it could be that Ryotos boarded them out. Mm -hmm. And this it's is like a, a very aggressive line. Here. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Force of Willing, the spell snare, implies that there is no red blast in Ryuto's hand. Which is a very so good So he's time. almost all in on this. If it, if it pays off, it, right. it's great. I did see a second Force of Will in Ryuto. Oh, so uh, okay. He will probably cast that. If he's going to do this once, um, it's arguable he's married that he, to the game plan. Yeah. I mean, really, what this matchup is all about is not so much resolving your own counterbalance, but not letting your opponent resolve theirs. Um, and... And so, in this situation, I could see... Um, you generally like being the second person to act. Exactly, right, yeah. right. Because if you think about it, all the critical spells are sorcery spells. So, if, your opponent, if, you, if you tap out, your opponent can win the counter war and then untap and punish you severely. Looks like Nahara found a force of will. Right. So like in this situation, for example, let's say Ryuto forces... Sorry, Mihara forces and then Ryuto forces back. What happens if Ryuto's like, okay, you have a counterbalance, I'll play my own now. Mm -hmm. Then, you know, Ryuto would be a little upset because his opponent has counter top, he only has counterbalance. Yep, missing half of the puzzle. Exactly. Huh. Mihara is going to force back. Right. I think Mihara doesn't have a counter top or counterbalance to follow up with, but he yeah. does have a mentor. Okay. And that's still a powerful play. Well, the mentor was underneath the uh, blue card he drew, right? As well. Yeah, it looks like he didn't draw it, so top is on top right now. Well, he gets to follow up with Jason Ooh. the Sculptor, and that's a pretty powerful game. So, I believe I saw Flusterstorm in Takata's hand. Oh, even better. That's, yeah, that's brutal. And he couldn't use it before because he didn't have the right mana, so this is... Yep. And he still has a backup force? Yep. Uh, this, is, this is looking very, very good for uh, Yuto. Nice. And Storm Count is... 
four or five, so you yeah, can go ahead. Uh, Twenty is yeah, the yeah, answer. You get to counter both of those spells, which is is pretty good. Let's see how good that he is. Um, if he's a master, he'll reveal his own chase. He doesn't uh, even bother. He doesn't. Even, even though bother. he doesn't know what's on top. Right. Uh, maybe maybe he forgot that he shuffled. Yeah. Or maybe he just thinks the, the the chance of that happening is just so low that he is well, uh, so there, just there's hiding a, the information. Yeah, there's a bunch of reasons to reveal, and one of them is predict. Yes. Yeah. So I think I would lean towards revealing. I would also reveal because I know my opponent has made his land drop for the turn and has no more plays mm -hmm. for the turn, so they can't leverage that information. Yep. That effectively. Um, yeah. yeah. Now he remembers. Ooh, wow! All right. Yo, I got, I got a drink. I got a drink. <laughs> always really excited from the blind flips, and it's always very tilting on the other side. Um, yeah. We 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 were you know playing some drinking games, and one of my rules was if there is a counterbalance that blind flips, I mean, I, I I take a drink. I don't. I only have coffee right now, but you know, if I drink too much coffee too fast, that could also just be as bad. As... All right. So, so Mahara just leveraged the fact that there's a spell snare on top, so he knows the click is going to resolve, mm -hmm. and he went ahead and clicked. So, opponent's so, hand is Jace, Mind Sculptor, and Swords of Postures. With a spell snare coming up, so I yeah. think you just let him keep that. You just... Mm -hmm. no, I would or you take the Jace. Depends. If you don't have an answer for Jace, I guess you... This is a hard decision. This is, this is definitely a tough decision. He just left all of them. Because he knows for like one yeah. turn he can't cast it, he needs to draw land. It gives him a little bit of time. Oh, um, just off the top. Um, so here's a question: Do you plow? Do you jace? What's the what's the what's the line? He's, he's he said plow upkeep. upkeep yeah. I think okay. there there was a slight gesture, and the mm -hmm. guy was like, "Hold yeah. on, plow." Um, should be exact. I actually like plow here because if you play the jace, not only are you vulnerable to counter magic, but you're priced into fate sealing. And fate sealing with Jace is one of the worst things you can do. I think post board because the answers to Jace post board is like red. Ooh, yeah, yeah exactly. another quick. So efficient. All right, so. Uto's going to draw the Volcanic off the click. Right. Drew a Force Will afterwards. Which is not bad. It hard so, the Force Will. The reason the guy didn't bother revealing his hand is because we knew the other card was Spell Snare. Force of course the top. Alright, and that I'm not too Without revealing, revealing again. Right. But he knew the... No, no he didn't. He didn't, he didn't, he didn't know the top oh, card. Yeah. Maybe I well, should drink for every minute. I think they play a little bit too quickly. Yeah. I wonder if Maybe. the click's just gonna get there. Are we gonna see like a brutal like game one and then just like a <laughs> whoopsie uh, daisies? Whoopsie daisy. I have three, no one, removal. <laughs> three damage. So oh, actually, yeah. Ryuto drew a Snapcaster me. Oh, there you go. And he can okay. kill it with Plow. Also, the the other click should also. He's doing it upkeep again. One thing that's unfortunate is that Ryuto has seen three force wills. Game, and I think Force of Will is is one of the cards that are not great, but they're not sorry, they're not it's not yeah, it's not great, but it's also not bad enough to board out because you, the matchup is so stack based that you have to include every single yep. piece uh -huh. of counter magic that you can. So this is interesting. Nahara's hand is power blast and counterbalance. So do you play anything here? I think I think, I think you, you have, have to, have to. Yeah, yeah, you have to act now because because your has died. so many great draws like right. top, Jace. Mm -hmm. So so the question is, which one do you think is? I think I. Well, Counter balance is more likely to resolve, so I think you could. No, lead with the that. guy has Spellsner in his hand, right? Oh, good. Okay, so here's the here's the trap though. If um. All right. So do okay. we power blast? If, yeah, if, we definitely. If, we just go not for not it. yet, not yet. You wait for Ryoto to crack the fetch, because oh, you know what the yeah, top card that's is. That's true. That's right. true. So then we'll see if Ryoto. Oh, so you is Rio is Takata, okay, he's so going to draw a dead card. You want to kill his counterbalance instead of protecting our own. Oh, that's true. Yeah. Well, I, I well, well, no, no I, yeah. I, I well, sorry, yeah, that, that, that's correct. Um, I would rather kill his counterbalance. Oh, okay. Oh, oh interesting. I see. So, I, so I he, think that is a better play for uh -huh. the reason you listed because the guy is going to fetch to avoid drawing the Caracas. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. But now we but could. Now he's it. trying to. He's trying to, to counter his own counterbalance, so he's valuing his own counterbalance. Yeah. Right, and I. Ooh! Ooh. Oh, the Leo! No, 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 no! The cracker is wild! Oh man! Oh, the appropriate drink. I should just get alcohol right now, right? It's only. It's only. Ooh! Here's a mentor off the top, though. That's big game. Versus counterbalance. Who needs Sensei's Divining Top? Come on, come on. 
Wow. I am coma. <laughs> I, don't know I am I coma. <laughs> I don't know what that means, but it it's something. <laughs> it means he's a boss. Are you coma or are you bofa? <laughs> Wow, this, that was, that's fine. Look at the guy, the guy's just like... <laughs> it doesn't it's, I think he's embarrassed at this point. He's yeah, like, he's, I was like, I don't really like, need that anymore. But see, see Jarvis, so just, just yeah. for a moment, hold on, this caffeine is getting me now. Just for a moment of, you know, recognition, like, if... If uh, Mihara had, instead of trying to protect his own counterbalance, yeah. stopped his opponents, yes. these spells would have all resolved and the game would have likely just been over. Yep. Instead, he's going to die, most likely, and a uh, third game will be... Oh! 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 He doesn't have the Caracas yet. Right. Oh, just a turn too soon. Um, so, also in sideboarding, I think I saw Takata take out his term terminuses. So, mm -hmm. oh, so he's just cold the mentor? No, so he can't counterbalance the. Okay, that yeah, yeah, yeah that well, is. Well, we'll he's still brainstorming. Well, I guess or he like kept the plow instead. Spell. Okay, I mean that's fine. I would, I, I would be okay with letting. Uh, All right, so it looks like the game's gonna control. go on for a little bit longer, and yeah. I mean Mahar is not out of it yet. So actually, one thing that I would oh, do here. Well, that's pretty bad. I would have sequenced it a bit differently. I would have put Pyroblast and Sensei's Divining Top on top. Just in case, you know, on my draw yeah. step, if, you know, he attempts to Pyroblast, I have some sort of protection from that. Um, now, the game, in this situation, it's not really looking that good for Mahara, but between Engineer... Ooh, Jace. All right. I was going to say, he has potential Engineered Explosives to draw into, as well as Wear Tears. Uh, you could try to, you know, maybe get lucky, but this Jace is probably going to finish the game now. I think he just goes straight upwards. Um, oh, Reb. Yeah. I think he has a which, grab to counter it, right? Yeah. Or right. a brainstorm, I think. Yeah. Right. Yeah, right. But he, he tapped his volcanic island, which uh I'm not used about. Oh, this has been this has been a great match yeah. so far. Like I I am stoked. Yeah, of course you're stoked. <laughs> <laughs> I mean I guess we had Delver on Delver yesterday, so that's only fair. Oh which anyone? I think notable? it was round three. Um, I'm not sure. So Greg says that the game has been over since turn four, and I actually disagree. I don't think a game one that sorry, I don't think game two that a, a naked counterbalance is actually. Oh, coma is the Japanese word for top, by the way. Ah, I interesting. Am, okay, nice. Um, Hi, I am coma. <laughs> I, I think I think Mihara could have maybe. <laughs> That's probably terminus, right? Yeah. Okay, that's pretty cool, yeah. All right. Looks like. Takata's going on the offensive. Yeah, th this is definitely correct now. He has, he has, he has now. counter top. Yeah. He has a couple counter spells. I'm gonna have the game with the Jace Fate Seal. Sorry, Sean. I'm too busy uh, focusing on all the action that's going on here. Um... Hey, Sean. We love you, buddy. Send more Snoopy gifts to the chat. Gifs, but yeah. <clears throat> Gif or gif. <laughs> All right, so we have a fight here going on now. Um, yeah, I, I think at this point... All right, Mahar... Oh, I thought he was going to pack right there. Whatever. Yeah. So you just spent two Power Blasts instead of fetching again. Yeah. Um, which is... I mean, it's okay. And like, at this point, you, I think you're just so is far he, ahead. Is he just trying to play quickly? Yeah. Yes, I mean, you could I just give so. him a ham sandwich, and he could just win with that. Or a they, leak. Or a leak, yeah. yeah. Or a leak. We ate leeks last night, for those who didn't know. We did. And uh, yeah, I don't know if you guys have ever had leeks before, but they're like this big. Yeah, I'm like... Snacking it on yeah, yeah, with a big leek. Before we started <laughs> streaming, Bob did attack me with a leek. Ooh, a Vendelian quick. Okay, okay. alright. Mahara packs. packs. Nice. Mahara knows that he's Will we have enough time, time to finish a game three? That See, is the question. Look how quickly to... Mahara is acting now. That's when you know that they're worried about the time. And honestly, one thing that I'm a little upset about is say, I, I don't know if uh, that facial expression was about the time as well, but I, I wish I wish that you know they were playing this fast, just during the smaller things in terms of like shuffling and stuff like that, mm -hmm. um, and not just when the clock starts ticking down. Right, right. Yeah. There's 700 people watching it. That's insane. Pretty That's cool. crazy. I guess it must be Jarvis. Jarvis in his luscious hair. Dude, he has a nice haircut, guys. He does. He this morning. That's the first thing I said to him today. I was like, nice haircut, Jarvis. You need to get a haircut. There's this really good place um, nearby. 
mm-hmm. it's called Tyson's Barber, mm-hmm. and the the person who works there, her name is Susan. Ooh, she, her name is Susan. She's given me the best haircuts like for the past two years. On rocks and well with Susan. Well, no, I'm not, but. Um, yeah, you're like, in love with her haircuts, though. Yes, I every other haircut that I've gotten, I've been disappointed in because, well, those are just so great. All right, yeah, but both players are boarding now. I think there may be a recalibration of sideboards. Hopefully, let's see what happens. A play draw dependent. Yeah. So, is Mahara going to choose a draw? That's, that's the interesting that, yeah. question. And there's a little bit of leveling going on here because yeah. if Mahara chooses to draw, then as Rio said, you put the dazes back into the deck. I don't even know if he took them out. Like, it was unclear. Okay, one second. I see a Pyroblast in Ryoto's sideboard. Uh, or maybe, I don't know what he's holding right now, but there's a Pyroblast in there. I think they're taking a little bit too long. Okay, well, this, is his, every... ma- this is his main deck. So he's probably yeah. judging how many copies of Terminus to keep in and stuff like that. He probably like, put all 15 sideboard cards in and is pulling yep. out 15 cards. But, yeah, I don't, I don't have an evaluation of how long this match has been going on for. Probably, I would say... 35 minutes. Jarvis, you have a fan club in the in the chat. Wow. All huh. right. Is that Lance Jarvis? <laughs> Lance <laughs> Jarvis. Lance Jarvis? What? Somebody asked. Oh, I guess it is Lance Jarvis. Yeah. Yeah, well, I don't know. Do we have Lance Jarvis or do we have Jarvu Stelver? Ooh. Ooh. Who's in the room? I don't know. It's I, I think I think we've got Jarvis with this. Also, what about Deep Blue Miracle Jarvis? <laughs> <laughs> the chess computer? Oh, I, you you I, 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 I'm sponsored, yeah. Okay. The the Deep Blue. We, we, we gotta, we gotta, oh, I have seen this picture. Yeah. Force of Will. Yeah. Force of Will, yes. Okay. The picture still is hanging in Phyto. Okay. It's All right. The, take bets now. Well, take, take bets now. Who do you think is going to be on the play? Jarvis. Mahara. 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 Uh, ooh, he's, he's deep in the tank. I'm going to say Ryuto. Just for, just, some, just for some variety, even though you know we're right. I don't know why I said... Okay, Ryuto. Sorry. I'm not good with names. All right. They finally have drawn their opening seven. And Mahara is so, going first, and he's immediately going to mulligan. Right. We can't keep a no-land hand. Not too happy about the pile. I, I, yeah, really, I don't either. think the pile. I just think they don't. I don't think they have enough time. Yeah. To also, sure. the first pile count is fine. I think after that, it's just right. You only do one. Well, no, no. Yeah. Like in terms of rules, yeah. I like, didn't they change rules. the rule that you can only so, do one per game, or what is you it? can do one per randomization. So that's still plenty. Yeah. Theoretically. Yes. Yeah. Okay. One thing is, um, Ryuto has a copy of Monastery Mentor in his hand, which is great in the situation where you're worried about the clock. Yep. Uh, the typical fall for Miracles is that the deck just takes forever to kill, because mm-hmm. you just spin with top. You play very few win conditions. You don't have any creatures, so you can't naturally kill. So, so yeah. setting up a lethal and tree takes a while, whereas Monastery Mentor, you play it on turn three, and they're dead. Oh. Oh. Here's, so here's, here's another question. Um, do you sideboard differently when there's very little time? Yes. Oh my god! Absolutely. Please, no! Yeah. <laughs> he might be, like, playing for the draw at this point. I don't but know, going down if, to five is if, not, if, like, if enough. You, if you pile shuffle because you're playing for the draw, there's I think there's something ethically questionable about that, or discussable about that. Right. Um, but Grant, given given uh, Ryoto's hand, I, Ryoto's hand, I think he can still squeak out a win very, very... Also, I don't think Mahara's doing it. Yeah, I don't think so either. Like, yeah. in that fashion. Yeah. I think that's just his... Natural, natural right. play pattern. Sure, right. it's really but he should hard probably to change that. it yeah. given how little time's on the clock. Right. Which I wish we had a clock. Yeah. yeah. He's been yeah. playing super, super fast though. So. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, okay. Right. Well, he's definitely going to. It's, it's, it's keep. not going to get better than that, really. Yeah. Well, it could, but it's probably not. No, that hand's great. That, yeah. That's a good five card hand. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I mean, you can still draw like counterbalance, like right off the top, and just go for it. But it looks like he has, has, has stacked, yeah. Yeah. and pyroblast. Which is really great because if Ryuto is able to play Monastery Mentor on turn three, from then he just tempos out um, yes. Mihara very. We easily. just go Delver style. Yeah, we just we just Delver, and it doesn't even matter if you know you resolve uh, a couple like camp trips or spells like that because, like, in the ensuing fight, you're, he's still gonna die. Like to force. Oh, force double force or will. All right, so we're gonna put all these, miracles. all yeah, these okay. white cards. Yeah, the entreat the angels and terminus are going back into the deck. The double forcible actually, I think, seals the game because yeah. you know the the issue is if if Ryoto taps out on turn three, 
There's the downside that um, uh, Mihara could counter. Mihara could Terminus like. Terminus and a counterbalance. Mm, yeah, exactly. Yeah. But with double Force of Will, that line is just cut out. Not only that, that line gives him. Um, Oh, we just redraw the terminus. Nice. Okay. Uh, so he, whoa, he, to go for mentor. He's okay. going to wait until turn four to protect it with power of blast. So. That's that's acceptable. Does um, he have another land? Uh, it's hard to tell. I wonder also how many copies of terminus Mihara has left. Well, both players. Yeah, God has seen two and has one in hand. Yeah, but honestly, the it could be the same one though, right? If that pile shuffling thing happened in the States, I'm pretty sure people would be very upset about it. Uh, it's weird, because he's not slow playing. Like, he's playing really quickly. Um, right. Wait, just, did we miss a land drop? It. Yeah, it looks like he doesn't have the oh, fourth land. Okay. But well, he has click for end stuff now. Whoa, he's just flashing an ambush viper. I don't... And he's spell snaring it. Yeah, no, no, I, the, think, you, I think you do. Well, was Takata going to discard? I think so, yeah. He's going to discard so, it. So, either we discard spell snare... To counter his thing, or we just discard Terminus, right. right? Okay. Yeah. In this situation, in this situation, I also like the Ambush Viper because the clock is ticking down. It's not the best mm -hmm. play, but given the circumstances, you sometimes to get the win, you have to. Yeah, and see, he's aggressively wow. going to follow up here. I mean, it's not going to work out for him because there's a Pyroblast. I wouldn't Pyroblast the counterspell, unfortunately. Um, yeah, because well, you can always Pyroblast it, you, later. You, you it's pyroblast okay later. just. Ooh, a Jace. Okay, but he just has so much insurance, though. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. And I yeah. really, really wish that Juta had uh, played the um, Mentor Is he going to play the Mentor turn? now? I think he, I think you he really to. should. No? He still, still, still have a Force. Yeah. I, he still has Quick in hand, right? Oh, uh, okay, so he's going for that now. Okay, so draw still Vendillion Click, that's fine. With Force will back up. I think, yeah, like, literally right now the enemy is the clock, right? You right, have right. the cards to win you the game, you just need to get them onto the board. Now, I, I don't think, I don't think, I, I like... Before I say that what Ryoto is doing is wrong, there's definitely an argument for his line of play. Um, and that's just... Oh, okay. that's Are they on turns now? Yeah, this is turn one. Uh, on turn one. Okay. That's awkward. I think Takata could still win with the Mentor. Um, it really depends. He only gets two turns, though. It's, this is going to sound... He doesn't really... have enough mana. So he, he needs three turns, I think. But it's probably going to be a draw. It depends on how many spells Mihara plays, because if Mihara just sits back and does nothing... Ryoto can't play his counter spells, so he can't trigger the mentor. Right, but I'm saying like next turn, Takata best draw. He draws a land. He plays like mentor and a top yeah. theoretically, if he even has that. Uh, and then the next turn is his last attack, so he gets two prowess creatures to attack with. Mm -hmm. So it's it doesn't seem like it's gonna be quite enough. Right. So no, it's short, to... even if it's optimal. Even if he had like two tops plus land, it's right. only plus eight damage. Yeah. Well, he takes three here as a 14. Yeah, but that's um, just... But, but I don't think he has the cards. It, I think we basically turned this game into a draw when we didn't slam Mentor on turn three. I agree with you. Yeah. Um, let's get the, in, in that vein, I'm actually a little happy that this happened because despite the fact that, you know, it's a draw, Ryuto had the winning cards to, to take the match, yeah. and there's something to reflect on in terms of how, how he could have better sequenced his cards to be more aggressive in face of the ticking down clock. Mm -hmm. um, I agree. Something and, and we're not sure that he had the win. Uh, yeah, we just wanted... But... Yeah, yeah, no. and, and both <laughs> players are picking up... Um, so this is an interesting thing we, we talked about briefly yesterday. I don't know if you were watching Jarvis, but there was another draw on camera. 888 What does 888 mean? 8 is the lucky number. Okay, so it's like Chinese. Yeah, yeah, yeah. we were talking about Asian lucky numbers. But yeah, so here's my question yesterday. When two people drew, they immediately just were shaking hands and you know moving on. Whereas in the U.S., there's generally some discussion around like, hey, will you scoop to me? Whereas in Japan, the culture is completely different. It's like a draw is a draw. It doesn't matter how far ahead you are. As draw... As so it was draw. Yeah. They just drew. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, what do you, what I, do you think of the cultural difference there? Like any opinions? I I respect that because there's that was the natural outcome of the match. Mm -hmm. If you want to finish a game, and like if you're dominating, yeah, of course you're going to be upset that you didn't get the win. But it you maybe could have played faster. Absolutely. Maybe you could have asked the judge to yeah. watch the pace of the match. There mm -hmm. are things you could have done. The fact that it ended in draw is you know whatever. Just let mm -hmm. it be. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I agree. And I, I do... The tournaments I've played in Japan before, 
uh, I did like the fact that they were very respectful, and they even showed you that they had 15 cars in their yeah, yeah, board. Yeah, exactly. that's another thing yeah. we 